Now then, we've got a target here. It's a right to left bird. It's virtually the same target as we shot the other side. Again, a target you're going to meet regularly in a sporting competition. Whether it's slightly up in the air, slightly down towards the ground, you're still going to meet something with this sort of line. Okay? Now, let's have a look at a target and just get a line on it. Oh! There you have it. What we're going to do now is I'm going to shoot this target, but I don't want you to look at the target at all. I just want you to look at my feet position because the feet position and the body pivot movement through the target is extremely important. So once again, I'm set with my left foot facing to where the gun is going to finish. My right foot is facing to where I intend to kill the target. I'm going to twist back from my hips, back to the target. I'm going to let the target come out and go through the target from behind, getting to the front edge and killing it. But I don't want you to look at the target at all. I just want you to watch my body movement. Pull! As you can see, I unwound through the target. I might have been what appears to be tense to start with, but I unwound through to the relaxed position. The shot, when you actually pull the trigger, is the most important part. So you need to be relaxed when you shoot and not when you start. Let's do that again. Now you can watch the gun coming through the target over my shoulder. Oh! There you are, once again. A nice smooth swing through the target coming up to the back edge, going through the bottom back edge to the front edge and killing the target. Let's see what that looks like on the eye cam. Bearing in mind that when you get the position of the eye cam, you're going to actually see that lead because my mind, by the time I've pulled the trigger, the gun has gone on. It's only going on through a small amount, but it actually goes on past the target. Now let's shoot the eye cam and you can have a real look for yourself. Let's have a look at that again in slow motion. As you can see, I'm holding low on the target. The gun is coming through the target from behind. My body is unwinding. I'm coming to the natural position. As I get to the natural position, the gun comes through the back bottom edge of the target. I go to the middle of the target, to the front edge, squeeze the trigger. The gun goes on, the target breaks, and the gun goes on completely to finish. That is the absolute perfect way to shoot a crossing target.